Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. So today we're going to be looking into divine soulmate connections where there is a karmic partner involved. It could be a situation, but I will be doing the reading as if it is a karmic partner or at least a person, okay? Um, so yeah, you can take the messages as they make sense for your situation, but do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you and that's perfectly okay. Um, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I do have a short list of the information that um, I request in order to do a reading, all right? And it is important that you guys send me that information because that's what helps me to tune in and to give you the most specific messages as possible for your situation. All right, so with all of that said, um, oh, one more thing. I don't always do this, but today I will also take a quick look at the karmic partner's energy towards the situation as well. Um, and for that reason, I might not pull as many cards for the Divine Feminine. And that's also because we get those messages. We Actually, we get really powerful messages, I feel, um, every week, all right? So even in the, in the more general readings that I do that are not specific to karmic situations, those messages still apply to you. Okay, so if you want to see more about the Divine Feminine, which I do feel is the most important part of the reading, you might want to check out last week's reading if you haven't seen that, or you can wait um, also for next week's. But I will pull just a few cards, all right, also for the Feminine. So, all right, now with all of that said, let's get started. Let's see. Um, and I'm also going to take a look at their energy towards the Feminine, as well as what is coming up. So, let's see. Oh, okay, wow. That was quite a bit more than I expected. I just wanted one. We have hostilities, we have envy, and we have walking away. All right, so <clears throat> what I'm getting here is that this is... What is going on within the within the karmic relationship? Um, I feel like this envy is from the karmic partner side, and there's this tendency of wanting to walk away. Um, I don't, I, I can't say if they're actually walking away um, physically, but I feel like there's this tendency of wanting to escape, of wanting to just be away from that situation because the relationship between the two of them feels very hostile at the moment or there's some at least there's some coldness all right if it's not actual hostility it just feels cold and maybe just some passive aggressive type of expressions all right presenting themselves let me just get a couple more from this deck Yeah, we have destruction, we have recognition, and we have action. All right, so we have both walking away as well as action. Okay, so there's definitely some action that is being taken here. Um, I feel like... <laughs> All right, this this relationship is just feeling like it's destroyed or that it is deteriorating, it is destructing. And this is directly related to the fact of the masculines not only recognizing what this connection is, really is or the reasons why they are actually there or why they've been holding on to this um, but it's also the recognition of what they feel for their feminine and i'm saying this also because i feel like last week's reading is going to um be still that energy is still present all right and last week i was talking about i think it was last week i can't be sure but this is what i'm getting all right this is what i'm feeling that the masculines have begun to have these new emotions, these new ideas that either they had been suppressed before or they just didn't think they were possible and now it just feels very new and they were ha they were confused when it came to really making sense out of them because they weren't feeling very comfortable with these new ideas or these new emotions and that had to do with ascension, all right? Um, so that is a part of this, of this recognition. And so they have this tendency, yeah, to want to take action. And for some of them, they could actually be taking action, all right? 
because we do have both the walking away as well as the action. So let's get let's get into the specifics here. So let's see their energy towards towards the karmic partner or towards the situation. Let's see. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ooh, okay, so... I feel like this is them running out of patience, running out of um, tolerance, not being able to carry this responsibility on their backs anymore. They're ready for something new here. Um, it's like looking in a new direction here with, the, with this Ace of Pentacles, and again, I feel like in la I think it was last week's reading where I was talking about them not wanting to repeat cycles, and here we have the ten in reverse, which would be the end of let's say a particular cycle, and then the ace upright. So it's almost like this is what they are tired of, you know, ending a cycle and then only to find themselves back to square one. This is something that they are now releasing, not repeating those old patterns. I feel like, like I said, <laughs> I feel like the energy from last week's reading is seeping into um, this one because that energy is still there. All right, for just for the collective. All right, of course, there's different situations. Everybody's situation is, um, the specifics are going to be different, but I feel like this is just such a general theme that it applies to a big portion, all right, of the collective. So they're seeing this as something that is done, all right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this commitment, this the stability, it's done. They don't want to be back to square one because that is just, it's just too exhausting having to repeat that over and over again. I see this as a progression uh, from last week's reading, all right? Last week's reading was not particular to karmic situations, but the messages still apply. Just had death fall out of the deck, so keeping that in, in mind. All right, that's wanting an ending. That's knowing something is done completely. All right, let's see. The King of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So they know that this is done completely, but... With this King of Swords being in reverse, I feel like the way that they are handling the situation and these all these new feelings and the way that this is coming through, again, it's, it's reminding me of that Hostilities card. Um, it's a little bit of... It, I feel just a lot of coldness when it comes to this connection. It's a lot of coldness, possibly... I. For some of them, right? This isn't going to be true for all of them. For some of them, they might be exhibiting like mean type of behavior. Not necessarily consciously though. Like I don't know if this is something that they're doing intentionally or that they're even aware. I feel like this is just because of how they're feeling and because they're feeling so tired and, and like they're running out of patience, they're running out of tolerance for what their lives are. It's manifesting in a way where it can come off as being mean and cold to the karmic partner, regardless of whether they realize that or not. And a part of what makes this, um, you know, even a little bit more unhealthy is the fact that even though they feel this way, they're not allowing this to just completely end, at least right now, all right, this week, even though it's not what fulfills them. Um, so yeah, that in and of itself can come off as mean, like, you know, I'm still here, still going through the motions, but because I don't want to be here and I'm feeling, you know, either resentment or whatever, you know, my behavior is coming off as a bit cold, and so that's not right in and of itself. Um, there is no right or wrong. This is just part of the lessons and this is something that they have to deal with and it's something that the karmic partner also has to take responsibility for and, you know, if 
whatever the case for them, they, they have their own choices, right? That they can make and they also have their, their own lessons. So it's not a, really a matter of right or wrong. This is just the energy and how it's, it's manifesting. All right, so let me, let me get a few cards um, for the karmic's energy. So yeah, things are feeling just a little bit cold and a little hostile at the moment. All right, so for the karmic partner, we have the world, death in reverse, and the ace of cups. All right, and remember, um, just before we had death fall out for the masculines. So whereas the masculines are feeling like this is over, there's a transformation or something needs to change here. I need to do something about this. I need to take that action. This thing is, you know, this relationship, this connection is deteriorating. The karmic partner doesn't want to let this go. Um, I'm not surprised. I've said this many times, you know, that a lot of times in these connections, it's the masculine that needs to take that action and needs to take that responsibility. The karmic partner is just playing out a role that they need to play for the for the masculines. Yet they they still do have a choice in it, but they're serving a purpose, all right, while they're learning their own lessons or gaining their own experience for their own soul soul growth. However, it that aside, in this particular situation now, they're not letting this go, okay? With the world being in reverse, they don't want this to close out. They don't want there to be a, a change. They're still feeling like they want to make this work. And for a lot of them, you know, they do have love for the masculine. Not all of them. Not all of them, okay? This isn't... Um, specific just to love. This is them wanting to hold on to something and not allow it to end. Let me get a few more. For some of the karmics, another message that I'm getting here, this is about self-love. The fact that they're not releasing this connection or not allowing it to close out and bringing resistance to that is because of self-love issues as well. So that could be a lesson that the um, karmic partner is learning. Now, if your situation does not involve a partner, or a person at least, okay, this message might not be for you, so you can just feel free to disregard it or skip through it. All right, so we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. All right, so all wands and all in reverse. All right, so the karmic partner is definitely feeling the ending of this, um, feeling like the passion is, is not there, okay, if it was a romantic relationship or that there is no excitement, that whatever this connection was, it has fizzled out, all right? The world being in reverse and death being in reverse is resistance to allowing something to close out. Um, I'm getting here that, yeah, you know, there might be some jealousy, some envy from the karmic partner side, and that's because... They can likely feel that there is another presence here. All right. Um, oops. Just move the camera. All right. Um, they can feel that there's another presence here that's on the masculine's mind. Okay. So this is why they would be feeling um, this envy. I feel like the karmic partner right now is in a very unstable state emotionally at least emotionally as well as well as possibly um spiritually they're feeling like you know everything is just up in the air everything is in and out you know this um it's it's going to be really hard to get things to go back to how they were but yet they're still holding on to this and so it's a very i am getting a very unpleasant time for the karmic partner, with the king of wands being in reverse, I'm see and the masculines have the king of swords in reverse, that's like a, a big clash. Um, it's like the masculines are being a little bit cold, um, possibly maybe a little bit, um, I almost even want to say authoritative, like in, in a way where this is what I want to do, this is what I'm going to do, kind of like not showing much compassion in a way towards the, towards the karmic partner. 
or they might be showing compassion, but their hearts are not in it. If they're showing compassion, the compassion is more of, okay, because, uh, you know, this is a person and I do genu genuinely care about this person, all right? So, really depends on the situation. But they're still feeling that emotional distance. And the karmic partner is just feeling very, 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 very frustrated right now. Extremely frustrated and extremely emotionally unstable. Some of them are also... Um, that's what I was going to say with the King of Wands being in reverse. They're also being um, maybe angry and just very passion driven. But when I say passion, I mean not in the not in the positive sense of the word. It's more of the negative sense. All right, because they're in reverse and, and with envy and hostilities. Like right now, their their relationship I feel is is really going through a major major crisis. So I don't feel like there's anything to clarify. Let me just try to make a little bit of room here because I do want to get some cards for the masculine's energy towards the feminine and then we'll see what is coming up. All right, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Again, this time for the feminine, we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Ten of Wands in reverse again. Okay, very interesting that they're, we're getting very similar cards and that's because they're in this state of either confusion or just really not knowing what to do. It's similar, again, it's similar to what I was saying last time, all right? They're still hanging on to the karmic relationship, at least for now, okay? And but they're still also holding on to the feminine. They don't want this to be over there. They cannot release the feminine and the energy of the feminine. They, If anything, they feel like moving towards the feminine here, all right, with the Knight of Swords. Um, and for a lot of you, it could be that, you know, you have had some communication if you were not in communication or that there has been some kind of action taken from the masculine towards you. And again, with the Ten of Wands being in reverse, it's because they are extremely exhausted of of themselves and of everything that has been going on and of repeating cycles. So this might be especially true for those of you where you feel like cycles have been repeating themselves um, within your connection as well. It's kind of like they're, they're, they're just so done with that, with the in and out. And if, if you haven't been in contact, then this is them also being tired of the in and out when it comes to their thoughts, when it comes to their mind, when it comes to them um, fluctuating between, all right, I'm thinking about my feminine, all right, push that out of my mind, all right, now he, here, here she is, back in my mind, okay, push them out, that back and forth. Because now what they're realizing, it's like an acceptance almost, accepting the fact that they cannot release this. And then for the karmic, it's also, I am also seeing it as an acceptance here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands being in reverse, an acceptance of the fact that this, this is just done. Like there is, I cannot repeat this cycle. It can't just start all over again, doing the same things over and over again without having any results. I'm gonna get three more for their energy towards the feminine. All right, we have the Hanging Man, we have the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, both in, in reverse. All right, so yeah, this is, again, it's the same message. I feel like they're, they know that they cannot release this, all right, with the Hanging Man. They're still, they're still hung up on you you're still in their thoughts. They might be holding some kind of a, of a distance from you as well, um, not fully expressing themselves, even though I do get like they want to, there's this urge within that where they want to um, speak. And for some of you, um, that might I, that might actually be happening in some way. You might be seeing some kind of an expression, what, whether it is that they verbally speak to you or whether it is through social media or through a text or whatever. 
even just energetically you might be picking up on that however they're still holding back though all right with the hanging man they still feel like this is something that they cannot they cannot release and basically here with the wheel of fortune being in reverse right next to the eight of swords in reverse is that they cannot change this so it's a lot of acceptance a lot of acceptance of what the situation is which is something that i feel the divine feminine has been working on and now it's the masculine also accepting that you know how i feel is how i feel i cannot i just can't remove this connection these emotions the bond or these ideas whatever they are for the feminine i cannot get that those out of my mind okay so let's actually let's see what's coming up in the next week or so and then i will pull a few cards for the for the feminines so let's see what this is moving towards so the masculines for their karmic partner or situation all right we have justice we have the king of pentacles and we have the world in reverse It's interesting. Okay, so here's what I'm getting. Whatever the case, all right, whatever it is that that is coming up, it is going to be related to them actually um, closing out karmic cycles. It's going to be making decisions based on true alignment, on truth within themselves, all right, with the justice being here. They are on the right path. Even this chaos that is happening um, between them is part of the process. And they will have to come out of that. They will have to release, you know, this resentment that they feel, which is actually probably just a projection of themselves onto the karmic partner for a lot of them. Um, and for others of them, I feel like it's going to have to be um, releasing guilt and forgiving themselves. I feel like what is coming up is that they're going to be faced with having to deal with the decisions that they've made in the past when it comes to this connection, understanding why they made those decisions and coming to terms with that. And I feel like that's why the world is in reverse here because this is something that hasn't been completed yet when it comes to their lessons and this is what they're moving towards. So it's actually good because like I said, starting off this combination with justice, they are moving in the right direction. Spirit is just letting us know that there's, <clears throat> there's that lesson that has not been 100% completed yet, but this is what is coming up for them, which is going to be something um, I feel pretty, pretty big, and it's going to be pretty significant when it comes to um, influencing them and in the future following this let me just get i feel like this was a little general so let me just get three more see if we can get anything more specific all right we have the magician we have the eight of swords and we have the five of swords So there's still, they're still going to be working a little bit when it comes to standing up for their own self and putting themselves first. I do feel like this is what they're um, moving towards with them starting off this combination with the magician, all right? This is what they are manifesting. I'm seeing this five of swords as actually being, um, putting themselves first. And this is going to especially resonate for those of you whose masculine um, is a people pleaser. And this is going to be really understanding that the fact that, you know, they have not been putting themselves first, which is deceitful to their own self, 
that is part of what has been keeping them stuck. That being stuck is really all in their mind. Putting themselves first is going to put a part of the solution, which is obviously, you know, related to self-worth and, and self-love. And so I see the next week coming up as being more of really beginning to manifest this energy of putting themselves first and understanding that that is something that needs to be done in order to untrap themselves. And it's not even to untrap themselves from, from this relationship or this connection or whatever it is. It's to untrap themselves from their own minds, from their own self. And what it is within them and the decisions that they have made that have been keeping them back. Because past, past decisions, they're not mistakes. They're not wrong. They're there for purpose. They're there for a lesson. They're there to gain some experience or soul growth. And this is part of also the forgiveness when I was talking about them forgiving also themselves. It's for the decisions that they've made in the past and for where they find themselves today in this Nine of Cups in reverse type of an energy. So all of that is going to help them to begin to put themselves first, understanding that that's not selfish. Not putting themselves first is what is keeping them in this Eight of Swords, keeping them trapped. So I do feel like a part of that action is actually beginning to manifest this. All right, so let's see for the karmic side. All right, temperance in reverse, the six of cups in reverse, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. All right, so the karmic partner is, um, I feel, going to feel like they're, they're running out of patience as well um, with the situation. Let me get three more. Okay, so interesting. Justice upright for them as well. But then we have the High Priestess in reverse and the Three of Cups, which was sideways. So it may or may not have been in reverse. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it, again, it's like... Like I said, you know, there's there's karma here. There's a karmic cycle that still needs to that still needs to close out or a lesson that still needs to be learned, I feel, from both sides. Um, the high priestess being in reverse, I feel like, yeah, it, it might not be that, it might not be that the karmic um, partner is really tuned in to their higher self or to their intuition, but for the most part, I'm getting that, you know what, that's okay. That's okay for them um, at this point in time, for whatever reason. Um, I, again, I feel like they, you know, they're they're playing out this role. They're also on the right track here with whatever it is that they're doing and even if that seems crazy to you you know it doesn't matter what the karmic partner is doing it doesn't matter the karmic partner might be doing something because that's part of the challenge for the masculine to face okay there's no way you you just can't know that so <clears throat> that's the message that i'm getting here though is that it really does not matter things are happening in the way that they need to in order for both sides to have their lessons or their the experience that their souls wanted them to and yes there is free will so if they're not making the choices that their soul initially wanted for them well then certain things are going to play out slightly differently so again even in that case again that would make it part of the process and what is needed right now What I do get, though, is that for both of them, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of heavy energy here, all right? Even with the Three of Cups being in reverse, this is the karmic partner not 
not feeling like there can actually be a reconciliation here and realizing that you know what we can't go back to how things used to be like that's just not possible for them the ace of pentacles is in reverse so again it's like even the karmic partner understands that we can't go back to square one like that that possibility isn't even there to have that to have another cycle of this all right of this back and forth trying to make it work and then going back and then again or you know whatever the situation is for them it might not even be a cycle of trying to make it work it might be just um the masculine being in and out for example it could be anything it could be an addiction that the masculine is also dealing with in combination to this whatever it's going to be different for for all of them so Let's see what is coming up for the masculine's energy towards their <clears throat> feminine. All right, we have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords, which I feel is in reverse as well. All right, let me get three more. Oops. All right, <clears throat> so we also have the Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and also the King of Wands. So, okay. Interesting, we have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So this is the Masculines um, coming up. Again, here you are in their minds and in their energy space, all right? Like you're just so present, all right? We're starting off their, their near future energy with you. And what they're seeing here is, yeah, that they're not, they're not happy. They feel like they may have missed an opportunity with you this is what is going to be very much on their minds um and i i kind of feel like with this ace of swords that they're not going to take much action i mean even if you are in contact i feel like you might not see anything you know more significant than what you've been seeing from them if anything i'm actually seeing here with this hermit that there might be a little bit of a of a withdrawal but not in the negative way all right because we have the nine of cups following that and the king of wands so i feel like this is just them really going within and soul searching really integrating the information that they've been faced with when it comes to the connection with you all right and how they feel about you so i feel like again that recognition it's here the the um queen of wands they're feminine and the king of wands is them all right with the nine of cups upright here remember we had the nine of cups in reverse for their energy towards the karmic partner this is what this is the recognition of what it is that they would truly want and not only do they want that but they want to be able to have the courage and the determination to obtain this to obtain this connection with you and that is what is driving that action and the walking away from the hostility and the envy and and all of that toxicity or unhealthiness within this connection but it does have to play out it does have to play out because that's part of the experience and part of their challenge to overcome this and put themselves first and not worry about how it's going to affect others So yeah, I'm not getting anything very specific when it comes to action towards you um, coming up just yet. I, I just feel like you might feel this energetically that, I mean, I, I even get that they might have a fear of rejection if they were to be too bold because they're, they, they're still involved in the karmic situation. Let's get some final work cards. All right, and we have time to go. <laughs> yeah, it's time to go for the masculines. Um, let me get one more. All 
right, we have... I'm actually going to also pull a few cards for the feminines. I almost forgot to do that, so it's okay. So we have, for the masculines here, we have Time to Go and we have Orphaned. So this is all about, yeah, you know, there might be a feeling of, of being alone. There might be a feeling of, you know, still having that rejection from their Divine Feminine for some of them. Even in that case, it's still it's still time to go. All right, I feel like that's going to be a message that is being um, just really set on their path and in their minds from spirit. So let me just um, get just a couple for for the feminines because I don't want to leave you without anything. Let me just put those there. All right, we have seventh chakra. All right, so that is the crown chakra. So for a lot of the feminines, you might be feeling like, like your crown chakra is either being energized or that it is opening. For others of you, it could be that it is blocked. Let's see. All right, so this is all about your connection to spirit, your connection to your spiritual self, to your higher self, and feeling like you, you can gain um, spiritual knowledge or just get information intuitively for what is going on here and for what is for your highest good. All right, we have inner child mask and separation. All right, okay, so you might feel like you are gaining insight actually into your inner child wounds, um, which might have to do with you feeling abandoned. So maybe this orphan card is also for you, okay? Um, that this could be something that is healing within you or that you might be gaining insight. And if you feel like you, you haven't, maybe this could be something that you can meditate on, all right? Because it could be that you might be masking some of the pain of a separation that may have happened in your past, all right? So this may or may not apply to you, you will know. All right, just take the messages that resonate because this is a general reading. But this is the message that I'm getting and I feel like it's meant for specific um, people to hear that you might be masking some of your inner child wounds when it comes to um, a separation that may have happened in your past. So the separation actually might not be um, from your childhood. It could be two separate situations. For some of you, it could be um, a separation that happened in childhood, possibly from a parent. Um, and then for others of you, it could be a separation possibly um, with another you know, soulmate or just something that was painful. There's something still left to be uncovered there. So I feel like that is a message for you. So we will get more messages for the feminines um, next week when I won't have to look into the um, karmics energy. So I will also pull just a couple more. I, I mean, now I'm really feeling like that orphaned card is um, also for you. But let's... Let's get one more. All right, we have the fates. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you have a deep knowing of what, of where you are meant to be going right now and of what is meant for you. And, you know, just staying on your path is what is going to help you to move through through this um, experience or just through anything that feels challenging for you. All right, I'm actually gonna get just one more. One more which could be any message that you might need to hear right now or that might be beneficial for you. All right, we have resilience, burn away the past. Okay, yeah, wow exactly what I was talking about before. In order to burn away the past though, you have to bring it to your awareness first. Bring it to your awareness so that you can process it and then you can burn it away. So yeah, those are the messages. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Much love.